It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2016, and welcome to the Daily Fantasy Cafe Weather Report with Mark Parquet from MLB DFS Weather. I just told you where I could you could find me at Daily Fantasy Cafe today. I'm in the forums. Follow us at Twitter at DF Cafe, and my personal Twitter is MLB DFS Weather, and you can also find our report at MLB DFS Weather.com. So. With that being said, let's jump into the forecast for today. We have a busy slate, full slate, 15 games. Again, almost split halfway in between afternoon and evening games, where there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven afternoon games and eight evening games um, going on. First off, we got one game in a dome, one game where the roof will be closed because it's going to be like 105 degrees in Phoenix. Um, so those two are afternoon games, and we won't have to worry about the weather there. In terms of rain this afternoon, we're going to look towards uh, Denver, Colorado, and Coors Field yet again for potential weather headaches. Um, remarkably, last night they got that game in. Uh, they had, I, I don't know how you measure hail exactly, but they had a lot of hail in the outfield. Uh, I saw numerous pictures of that, and it was just amazing that they were able to play. They were determined to play. Um, they could have easily canceled that game, and there no one would have uh, had any qualms about that at all. But for all of us in the DFS industry and that used Coors Field last night, we really um, caught a break there. But anyways, this afternoon, this should be the radar setup. We have showers and thunderstorms forming over the Rockies, and they drift off them. All too often, we see this setup, and Denver is, I'm not going to say in the clear, but they do not get the worst of these storms. Last night is more the exception than the rule, so I think we've got to take a couple lessons from that. A, that, that sort of situation can happen, and it does. However, it's not the most common outcome when these thunderstorms come off the, the Rockies. The only exception I could see to last night that made it stand out is that it came from the northwest. If, as we watched it, it, had, it headed this way um, from northwest to southeast. Generally, these thunderstorms have a west or a west-southwest motion form, so they head east or east-northeast into the plains. I wonder if that sort of difference in the motion had anything to do with what happened last night. I can't say for sure that is the case, but to make a long story short, we'll watch this area today. Postponement's unlikely. Can't, uh, excuse me, yeah, postponement's unlikely. Delay is possible. I forget the percent I had at it, 30%. And even that, I'm kind of playing, there's an old saying, once you get burned by something, you're, you're more apt to be wary about that again. Um, and that's kind of the case today. The rain percentage and the delay risk is maybe a little bit higher than if I saw this same setup yesterday. But the long story short, I think I already said that, shouldn't be a postponement. Delay is a possibility. Not like we're going to use any of the starting pitchers there anyways. The other game, and this is an evening game, that has potential for some rain is Atlanta. And you can see from my percentages, I have a very low delay or postponement risk. Atlanta's radar should look like that. If I saw that on radar, it would be like, they're all set. But you never know when one of these little individual cells gets right over the stadium and causes problems. Now, the chances of that are unlikely, but not completely unheard of. So we'll keep an eye on it, but not a huge worry. Those are the only two games that I see with any potential weather issues. Um, going to places where it's good to hit, Colorado is A number one. Um, not that it's extremely warm and actually the wind's going to be blowing in, but the air density is extremely low still just because of the elevation. So they're the first or the best hitting environment, but others that stand out as positive to me are Los Angeles, strangely enough. Um, well, actually, I didn't have them. I had these guys. I was looking at the wrong column. Cincinnati, Detroit, Colorado. Arizona, even though the roof will be closed, that's still a hitted ballpark. Yankee Stadium and Turner Field in Atlanta. Pitchers ballparks, first and foremost, Tampa Bay. Uh, even though the Red Sox are in town, still a park that strongly favors the pitcher. And then a couple over here at tonight, uh, Oakland and Seattle, where 
Seattle's roof will most likely be open. Um, winds blowing in a little bit. Temperatures are a little cool. Air is dry. That helps the pitcher in Oakland. Even though the wind's blowing out, it's very cool and the air is dry. So those are factors that help the pitcher. Um, other than that, I think we're good to go. Um, Colorado being an afternoon game, I'll keep a close eye on it. Send updates via Twitter at DF Cafe. Um, so give us a follow there and thanks for your patience. Have a good Wednesday.